When I started the GP100 software, I received a notification that the new firmware was available. I clicked on download. Clicking on download brought up Valatin's web page. I clicked on firmware. At the bottom of the page, the latest firmware version is listed. I clicked on download to start the download process. After downloading the file, I uncompressed it, and now I'm showing the three files that are in the compressed folder. Version 1.5 was released September 30, 2020. 1. Tap tempo function added. Hold the left foot switch to engage. 2. Global tap tempo control for pre, mod and delay modules added. You can set whether all patches accept tap tempo. This function ignores the sync settings in the stored patches, but does not affect the stored patches. The sync function of the pre, mod and delay modules in all the patches can be affected by tap tempo. After the synchronization is enabled, when you turn on tap tempo, the sync of the corresponding module will be opened. You can control the time and speed value of the corresponding module by the tap tempo in any patch. 3. Optimized IR cabs. The software is now offering me to update now or cancel. I clicked on update now. Clicking update now brought up an explorer window that allowed me to navigate to where the firmware version is located. I then double clicked on the new firmware file. The update process now warns that all the user presets will be erased after the firmware is updated. I had previously backed up mine, so I clicked continue. The update process now warns me again to back up all my presets before continuing. I clicked continue. The firmware update process begins. Now that the GP100 is running firmware version 1.5, the software application version 1.1.0 needs to be updated. I return to the web page and this time I clicked on software. You can see at the bottom of the web page that the new software version 1.2.0 is available for Windows and Mac. I clicked on download to start the download process. I then used the normal Windows process to remove the GP100 application version 1.1.0. After downloading the file, I uncompressed it, and now I'm showing the three files that are in the compressed folder. To start the installation, I double-clicked the executable file. Windows doesn't recognize the application, so it warns you before running it. To continue, I clicked on More Info. I then clicked Run Anyway. Select your preferred language and click OK. Click Next. Click I Agree. Click Next. Click Install. The installation begins. I didn't want to reboot immediately, so I unselected Restart Computer and clicked Finish. I then closed other applications that I had running and rebooted my computer. Thanks for watching and listening. Good luck with your tone quest.